It was a stunning revelation. Thousands of dollars taken from people's bank accounts by a mortgage servicing agency, leaving people overdrawn and panicked. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprager getting answers as to just what happened. It's about the most frightening financial thing you can experience. Suddenly, your accounts show zero balance. Homeowners across the country were shocked to see thousands of dollars pulled from their accounts, and I was one of them, waking up Monday morning to find that Mr. Cooper Nation Star Mortgage had pulled a half dozen $1,500 payments from my account, payments totaling over $9,400, leaving me massively overdrawn. Calling Mr. Cooper resulted in this message. We are aware that some of our customers are experiencing payment processing issues. We understand how concerning this is to those impacted, and we are currently working with the banks to have this resolved. People took to Twitter and raged. With accounts drained, bills to pay, and no money, people were frustrated and venting. The company claimed the victims would be made whole. All unauthorized charges will be corrected, and any customers affected will not be responsible for any fees or other negative financial impact this has caused. Though my bank was able to reverse the unauthorized withdrawals, it was an instant. It takes time for the system to process updates, leaving me and thousands of others without access to cash. I wanted to know why did it happen? Was the company hacked? And what was Mr. Cooper doing to make sure it didn't happen again? Their reply says it wasn't a breach, blaming their third-party electronics payment vendor. When I asked when everybody would be made whole, they said, by the end of today. I also wanted to know what they were doing to make sure it didn't happen again. They referred me to their blog, which had a nonspecific answer, claiming the company was working with their payment vendor to correct the issue and prevent recurrence. Now, there are federal and state statutes which protect consumers from unauthorized withdrawals. I've been in contact with our attorney general to find out if it violated any state laws and what the penalty might be. I'll let you know what I find out. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprager. And within the past half hour, the attorney general's office tells us more than 14,000 people in our state were affected by the unauthorized withdrawals. They're asking anyone who has a concern to file a complaint with their office either online or on the phone at 877-5-NO-SCAM.